Percy takes the plunge. Sometimes Percy takes stone trucks to the other end of the line. There he meets engines from the other railway. One day, Henry wanted to rest in the shed, but Percy was talking to some tank engines. It was raining hard, water swirled under my boiler. I couldn't see where I was going, but I struggled on. Ooh, Percy, you are brave. Well, said Percy modestly, it wasn't anything really. Water's nothing to an engine with determination. Tell us more, Percy, said the engines. What are you engines doing here, hissed Henry. This shed is for the fat controller's engines. Go away. Silly things, Henry snorted. They're not silly, Percy had been enjoying himself. He was cross because Henry had sent them away. They are silly, and so are you. Water's nothing to an engine with determination. Pah! Anyway, said Cheeky Percy, I'm not afraid of water. I like it. He ran away singing. Once an engine attached to a train was afraid of a few drops of rain. Percy arrived home feeling pleased with himself. Silly old Henry, he chuckled. Thomas was looking at a board on the quay. It said, danger. We mustn't go past it, he said. That's orders. Why? Danger means falling down something, said Thomas. I went past danger once and fell down a mine. Percy looked beyond the board. I can't see a mine, he said. He didn't know that the foundations of the quay had sunk and that the rails now sloped downward to the sea. Stupid board, said Percy. For days and days he tried to sidle past it, but his driver stopped him every time. No, you don't, he would say. Then Percy made a plan. One day at the top station he whispered to the trucks, Will you give me a bump when we get to the quay? The trucks were surprised. They had never been asked to bump an engine before. They giggled and chattered about it the whole way down. Whoa, Percy, whoa, said his driver, and Percy checked obediently at the distant signal. Driver doesn't know my plan, he chuckled. On, 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 laughed the trucks. Percy thought they were helping. I'll pretend to stop at the station, but the trucks will push me past the board. Then I'll make them stop. I can do that whenever I like. If Percy hadn't been so conceited, he never would have been so silly. Every wise engine knows that you cannot trust trucks. They reached the station and Percy's brakes groaned. That was the signal for the trucks. Go on, go on, they yelled and surged forward together. They gave Percy a fearful bump and knocked his driver and fireman off the footplate. Ow, said Percy, sliding past the board. The day was misty. The rails were slippery. His wheels wouldn't grip. Percy was frantic. That's enough, he hissed. But it was too late. Once on the slope, he tobogganed helplessly down, crashed through the buffers and slithered into the sea. You are a very disobedient engine. Percy knew that voice. He groaned. The foreman borrowed a small boat and rowed the fat controller round. Please, sir, get me out, sir. I'm truly sorry, sir. No, Percy, we cannot do that till high tide. I hope it will teach you to obey orders. Yes, sir, Percy shivered miserably. He was cold. Fish were playing hide and seek through his wheels. The tide rose higher and higher. He was feeling his position more and more deeply every minute. It was nearly dark when they brought floating cranes, cleared away the trucks and lifted Percy out. He was too cold and stiff to move by himself, so he was sent to the works next day on Henry's goods train. Well, 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 chuckled Henry. Did you like the water? No. I am surprised. You need more determination, Percy. Water's nothing to an engine with determination, you know. Perhaps you will like it better next time. But Percy is quite determined that there won't be a next time.